Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Earthcoin Reviews. Today I am here with one more video on arbitraging and the topic of today's video is Frequently Asked Questions FAQs, Explaining FAQs. So basically this is the part 2 of my previous video on Trade Pro related FAQs and in the last video I explained you that what is Trade Pro and what is Shadow Trading and today I am going to explain you the second question of that. Uh, let's move towards the first the trade pro uh, here it is trade pro and i am explaining this part the trade pro basics so let's move towards the trade pro page in my previous video i explained you the basically what is trade pro and shadow trading now in this video i am going to explain you what are the basic specifications of trade pro visa debit card okay so let's uh, open this question as you can see the image uh, let me zoom in uh, one minute as you can see now i hope you will be able to see that that it clearly says that trade pro and this will be your card number okay as you can see all the visa cards have all the visa and master cards have 16 digits card number and i think uh, discover also have there are four credit card or debit card companies one is visa one is master which works all around the world world and the other two are discover and american express uh, which works in i think united states and maybe other sub parts of the world so visa master and american express uh, visa master and discover have 16 digits card number and american express has 15 digits card number okay so this this is the visa card so this has 16 digit card number and this will be your expire date of the card i think it will be two years and it is valued customer okay so here it is uh, on normal cards there will be your name written here valued customer but this is the no kyc card so i think there will be no name written here it will say as it is valued customer okay now let's uh, move back where we came from okay Th uh, sorry not this one uh, this was the question okay so this th uh, this this is the card which i show and it say trade pro card okay the type will be gift card okay expiry date which will be here above your name 0000 000, 000, 000 slash 00 uh, it will be two years L let's say if you order in june 2019 so it will be work till june 2021 two years okay and after two years you as you can see here that renewal can be set up to cheaper and faster process than initial purchase okay can order virtual or physical card so renewal will be cheaper let's say if you buy a card for $50 on new card and when you do the renewal you don't have to pay the full $50 fees there will be cheaper and faster process for that okay as it is saying here I am just giving an example I am not telling you the exact fees and all the things it is it is in the below part of this video here are all the fees and everything explained and I will explain in the latter part of the video or maybe in the next part of the video if the time gets finished because I am only able to make 10 10 to 12 minutes long video so if i will not be able to finish this in a single video i will divide this into two parts uh, so i can explain you each and everything in details because it is very important faq and i don't want to miss a single thing in this so i will uh, prefer to divide this video into two parts and explain you each and everything with all the details okay so what i said okay so renewal will be cheaper and faster than the initial purchase okay uh, can order virtual or physical card okay let me explain you what is virtual card and what is physical card let's say you have a card in your hand and you can use that card in the atm you can use that card on the gas store for filling fuel in your car uh, car okay fuel as uh, buying a fuel you can take the car to the shopping mall do the shopping do, you can do online shopping you can do purchasing in the mall you can uh, have a dinner food and you can pay with that card that how physical card works and many other things also but what is virtual card is virtual card means that you will have the card on your computer your email you will have the number you will have the 
CVC which is at the back of your card and all the details but on the computer you will not have a physical card in your hand so that card you will not be able to use in the ATM mall or fueling the gas in your car but you will be able to shop online and do the online purchasing and all the things but you cannot use that card in the uh, shopping mall and all the things ATM you but physical card you will be used inside the ATM also to cash out the money but from the virtual card you will not be able to cash out the money you can do the online shopping and all the things because there are some countries in the world uh, where it is not possible to ship the card uh, let's say some country which don't have the shipping or uh, method and companies and all the things no? that means the third world country backward countries like in the old age countries like this but they have the access to that now it's not post not looks like because if some country have the internet connection they have all the facilities but if for some reason you are not able to receive the physical card you can uh, order it virtually and you can use it online okay now uh, the last no KYC can remain anonymous okay so you don't have to give your KYC the card will remain anonymous okay uh, no one will know your name your address because you go to the bank open the account to buy the debit card or credit card you have to submit your uh, national ID card you have to give your passport you have to give your driving license you have to give your house bills you have to give your social security number and all the important personal details okay but this card is not will not ask for anything you will get for no KYC KYC means know your customer they will not ask for any of your personal information you can get this card anonymous and you don't have to give any details okay virtual requirement to have the card remain active okay oh, sorry not virtual sorry vault requirement I, I read virtual from here vault requirement to have the card active okay so silver card there are three types of card basically one is silver second one is gold third one is black okay so with silver card requirement 100 are coins in vault so if you are buying the silver card I will explain you in the later part of the video or in the next part of the video that what are the details for silver gold and black but uh, understand for now is silver card you have if you want silver card you have to keep 100 R coins in the vault if you want to get golden card gold card if you have to keep 500 R coins in the vault and 100 bank stable coins in the vault okay oh yes and 100 bank stable coin. Uh, sorry uh, for gold card you have you have you should have 500 R coins in the vault and 1000 bank stable coins okay bank stable coins also in the vault so bank stable coins will be means they will make one stable coin which will be one dollar per coin so you should have one thousand dollar inside the vault for that one thousand bank stable coin and 500 R coin and if you want to buy the black card you should have one thousand R coins in the vault and five thousand bank stable coins in the vault means uh, you will have to keep five thousand dollars inside the vault which will be bank stable coins and 1000 R coins okay so if you lose the card move R out of the vault and your it will be free it will freeze the card so let's say if you if you have a credit card from bank and if if you get if it get stolen or lost you have to go to the bank and deactivate the card and do the whole procedure but it it's not like that here if your card get stolen unfortunately or get lost or something you just move the coins let's say if you have silver card you move 100 coins out of the vault and your card will be deactivated or freezed until you put the coins back again same with gold and same with the black that if you have black card and you have 1000 arc coins inside the vault you take out the arc coins outside the, of the vault and your card will be freezed okay to buy the bank stable coin initially will need ethereum okay sign up in seven days as the time of writing 25th march going for 30 days and it will be live in six weeks okay so it says that you will have to buy the bank stable coin which is this one 
that 1000 and 5000 coin you should keep uh, you will have to buy it with ethereum and sign ups will be in 7 days as of writing and it if going for 30 days and it will be live in 6 weeks so basically uh, the dates are little bit changed as of now uh, soon they will announce all the updates on this but when they will start the sign up it will go for 30 days and all the things will be live within six weeks this they said at that time but now they have changed i think some rules in this and they will announce it very soon so we are waiting for that announcement and i hope that it will come soon and it will be good for the business okay now next is how it works and all the things so what i do is i am ending the video here till this part that uh, about the card requirements what requirements uh, because the video is already 11 minutes long so what i will do when i will make the next video i will start from here that how it works so it i will give you a little bit summary about this and then i will start the video from here so it will be easier for you to, for me to make because if i continue the whole thing in this video it will take me 30 to 40 minutes because all the updates are very important and it's not possible for me to cover in 10 12 minutes so that's why what i will do is in the next part i will start the video from here okay so let's end this video here thank you so much for watching please like comment share and subscribe to my channel have a very wonderful day bye bye